morning, Mr. Morgan. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's move out. Come on now, boy. Behind you. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Need should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. It seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. So 
Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, all right? So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, Kip. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that? And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Grays and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Never can resist a scam, those two. Dutch already managed to get us deputized. We got the biggest price on our heads west of Chicago, and now we're working for the law. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. So far, it's been a lot of fancy talking from him and Jose, while I do all the dirty work. Just like the old days. Something like that. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake. And I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Whoa. Whoa. Keep it down now. We're here. Stranger. Okay, let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. 
Is it the lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. You really do. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Would you care to? I was a child, and then. I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn right, go. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get no word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! I'm at the door! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, oh you think oh. we're here? No. 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 Oh, open that goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh. Too goddamn oh. slow! Don't make me hurt you. Shut up, bitch! Hurry up! Come on! himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lockbox. It's now. I, uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you oh. better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up! Slower, but it's quiet. Okay. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. I'll go check the front. How's it looking there? Good. I told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Please, let me go. I, I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are.
Last one. Good. We gotta move. I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed.
husband's not cold in the ground and you come back here. Archie, I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or a lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Evening, Morgan.
Ah, there, mister. Must be tough for you staying awake sometimes. Mm. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along there. Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. <sighs> Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Messing around. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Once faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook now, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really buried some bloody money at the end of all this. Hey! Are you what the hell is the They're really buried some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to send the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Them Greys, English. Excuse me? You not worry about them Greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Stay out of sight. 
I'll give a talk. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah! <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Ah! <clears throat> Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down out of houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Half. Oh, hey. 
Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll take care of this fella. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. It's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna joke this too.
I'm gonna help this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Line her up! After you, sir. What are you waiting for? Haha! <laughs> now let's go lay ourselves a fast cigar! Somebody shoot him already! Money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Ah. I 
think we lost them. Uh, we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. 